Okay, so the next subject I'm going to cover is programming language. What I mean by that is which language um, does a trader use to create custom indicators, third party tools or automated trading systems. So both TradingView and CTrader offer a programming language. Um, TradingView offer a thing called PineScript. It's a scripting language. It was built um, in house, so you can only use it with TradingView. Um, it doesn't have a huge amount of resources on the internet to um, learn how to use it, but they are, they are building on it slowly. I'll show you that. Um, it has a very basic code editor. It has um, no framework for advanced third-party tools. So with CTrader, you have thousands of extensions, of pre-built libraries that you can just plug and play to build very complex systems. Um, TradingView doesn't have that. CTrader uses Microsoft C Sharp. I don't know if most of you might have heard of it. It's been around about 20 years. It's a high-level programming language. It's almost self-documenting the way you write it. It's very easy to understand. It's, I think last year it got voted, or this year, the fifth most popular programming language in the world. Um, with um, CTrader, you can use a basic code editor or an advanced um, Microsoft Visual Studio editor. I'll show you that. As a huge amount of free resources with videos and, and educational stuff on the internet. Um, it uses the power of .NET. <clears throat> what I mean by that is um, .NET is a huge framework that allows you to build um, enterprise level applications that you can just plug in or bolt on onto CTrader. So third party vendors like us at ClickAlgo can create some very cool tools for uh, trading really. And also the knowledge that you gain from Microsoft C Sharp, you can port it onto your CV, you can use it as a hobbyist programming, or you can put it onto other uh, other trading platforms like NinjaTrader that uses Microsoft C Sharp. So it's a very useful one to learn. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead now and show you um, some web pages. So this is Learn Microsoft C Sharp from the Microsoft website site and they have a huge amount of videos um, to help you learn how to use the, the, the actual programming language. So I would say if you're going to learn a programming language, C Sharp is one of the most easiest and best ones to do. And again, C Trader support it and you can then go in very quickly, learn how to program and create um, applications for the C Trader platform. The IDE or the development environment that comes with it is Microsoft uh, Visual Studio. It's free of charge. The community version, which is 2022, um, you can download. It's very complex and very easy to use. I mean, you don't have to use it in a complex way, sorry, but it has, it's very useful. I mean, I'm really, I really um, think it's one of the best editors that I've used on there. So um, PineScript, as I mentioned, is a scripting language created by um, TradingView. Um, it does allow you to do some basic, um, um, sorry, not basic, it does allow you to do some quite advanced um, indicators, but it doesn't allow you to do any third party applications that I showed you in the last slide or any kind of um, Windows applications that you can actually use onto it. And there is quite a bit of information on there you can find on the internet. It's not as high level or easy to read as uh, Microsoft C Sharp. They've got Pine Coders and you can use Stack Overflow. What that means is Stack Overflow is a site that will actually allow traders to discuss problems and you can ask questions and stuff like that. So that's very useful. And it's also got quite a few tutorials on the internet. So it has got information about the language, but it's because it was built in-house by the trading platform, it is um, light years behind uh, Microsoft C Sharp. So what I'm going to show you now is... And the editor that comes with TradingView. So this is TradingView's code editor, which comes um, built into the platform itself. And as you can see down here, um, you can hover your mouse over any of the properties or methods, and you have a pop-up window that tells you what it's doing. Um, like C Traders inbuilt code editor, <clears throat> it's not the best in the world, but it's probably okay for um, beginners and people that are just starting to learn to program. But once you start, um, you need to need to do more complex stuff. <clears throat> That's why you need to use something like Microsoft Visual Studio. So again, you can open or save it or add it to your charts. So you could write your um, indicator code here and add it straight to your chart. You can also create strategies and run a simulation, but these are not automated. I'll show you later on how to do that. On CTrader, on the other hand, um, you have to go to the Automate tab down here. So the Automate tab is a dedicated part of the trading platform for um, writing algorithms, automated trading, creating custom indicators and writing your code. Now this is their code editor here. Um, again, um, it's good enough for somebody that's just starting out and you need to learn the API. So there's two things you need to learn. One is the, the programming interface, which is how to interface with the trading platform from the base core um, programming language like Microsoft C Sharp or PineScript. And the other is, um, I completely forgot, it doesn't matter. So this is the code for, um, for that's used for Visual Studio, sorry, for uh, C Trader. But if you wanted to actually open up Visual Street Studio, you just right click there and you do um, edit in source code. <clears throat> and what this is gonna do now, this is gonna open up um, Microsoft Visual Studio. Now with Microsoft Visual Studio, um, some of the core benefits you've got in here is you can automatically um, save your 
code to Git or you can save it to a repository. What I mean by that is you can store it and store versions of your code so you don't lose it. You can add breakpoints here like this, attach this, your code or your project to the trading platform. What I mean by that is when you run the trading platform and your, um, your, your indicator is being used, it will step through the code and this allows you to actually identify any issues that's in your indicator. So you can look at the, the actual data that's coming in. Also, one of the core benefits of using Microsoft Visual Studio is if I click on the, the dot there, it comes up with a list of all the properties and methods that are inside this object. So if you are, well, this is something that PineScript doesn't have, it allows you to learn the API a lot easier and learn the framework of .NET because it lists you all the available properties and methods. There are other things that um, will help you massively like bookmarks. And these are just touching the edge of what you can do with Visual Studio. So I just wanted to kind of stress that um, when it comes to programming languages, <clears throat> CTrader using Microsoft Visual Studio, as I show you, showed you in the last video, is light years ahead of TradingView in, with regard to creating add-on applications uh, mini trading terminals and really anything out of the box that you can't even you've never even thought of you could probably achieve with Microsoft C Sharp using uh, C Trader. So Trading View is great for creating um, custom indicators using their in-house language, but C Trader is far better for creating um, like complex or or enterprise level applications that bolt onto the trading platform. It is also very good for beginners to learn to code because C Sharp is easy to learn, huge amount of resources. So if you want to create your custom indicators and you have no programming experience, C Sharp is perfect um, direction to go to like, actually learn how to do that. And if this is your first time in creating an automated trading system, again, C Sharp is definitely um, a good way to go. Okay.